It loaded as you this message deleted again. I got a message from this girl, Connors Evans. Hello and a few questions. Hi, I just wanted to ask where about you live in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't live in Pennsylvania. I live in uh, Ohio, actually. Loudonville, Ohio. But uh, not specifically, but in general, my family came to this country from Germany way back when, before the Revolutionary War, and settled in Pennsylvania. The Warheim family, Myers, Melhorns, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Too bad they were seduced by easy living. At some point, they sold all their land and came into the city. I know my family was quite wealthy at one time before they bought the big lie and allowed themselves to be seduced by the devil. People laugh when I say that, but it's true. The devil always consolidates power and manipulates men into seeking an easier way. It always leads to enslavement. I sincerely believe the Amish are the smarter, smartest people in America. They are completely self-sufficient. They don't have to ask for a job from some other person. They have kept their survival skills while the rest of us have been reduced to mush. I kind of agree with that. And they don't register their kids with the government and make them collateral for the national debt. My hat's off to the Amish. They've also kept the Bible to the Bible and that's one of the most important things. If you had to describe Amish theology, would you say what would you say it's like? Is it like John Calvin's teaching or what is it like? I've actually read about Calvinism, but I've never really studied their theology, so I'm, I can't make that judgment. So I'd have to read more up on, on what he believed in before I could uh, say one way or the other. Um, one more question. Do the Amish in Pennsylvania uh, realize what is happening with the New World Order. I'm not sure if um, what all they know, but but um, I think some of them uh, probably know that the, the world is changing and they, they need to um, and, they, and they do adapt some somewhat to uh, to changes in the world too but um, anyway how do they usually find out about slings without TV radio or newspapers I should do you read some newspapers but not a whole lot I know you have a computer but as a rule wouldn't electricity be seen as evil As a rule, uh, for at least for, and, and especially for Schwarzenegger Brownish, um, now some of the other groups they they use electricity as long as it's not on the grid and for uh, purposes like businesses, like they they would have a generator or whatever for for go for uh, for uh, construction work when they build houses for people, but uh, as a rule, not in their home, they wouldn't have electricity in their home, They, unless they were to have it on the, from a generator, they wouldn't have it for, uh, on the grid, they don't, they don't want to be on the grid like that. Uh, I have always wondered how they get info, well, most likely if they, they they probably have some friend that they that comes and visits them and uh, and shares some information with them too, so that's one way that that they would uh, get to know some of the information. 
I know the vets are harassing them about raw milk now, and my heart goes out to them. Yeah, I made a video about that. It's that's just for me. I I grew up on that stuff, so I and I like like raw milk a lot better than, than the pasteurized stuff. Um, so yeah, I I uh, wish we could get back into the raw milk. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I, why I support Ron Paul because he he's one of the people that um, wants to get the Fed out of out of um, our business. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I was just wondering, do they realize this is part of a bigger agenda, or are they just unaware? Well, some of them are probably aware, but uh, they don't get to watch uh, all those stuff on on YouTube about about what's happening. So, so some of them are not don't really get to get to read it, all that stuff. But I do do know that my mom reads some of that stuff. And uh, tabloids and stuff too, so I don't know exactly how accurate some of the stuff is that she reads. But anyway, it makes me angry to think about them being harassed. They mind their own business and just want to be left alone. How do the more strict sex get info about world events, or do they really follow them? They don't really follow them, but. But uh, as I said, they have like neighbors that come over and tell them some information, and and uh, my mom like she she uh, meets some tabloids and stuff. I, I don't know how accurate that is either. Um, but um, but that's you know to be expected that uh, that uh, people that they come bring out uh, information like that on to uh, more to confuse people than to than to um, provide accurate information. Well anyway, hope this helps you and uh, talk to you later. Bye.